Edith Piaf, Non Je Ne Regrette Rien. And I'm going to play right after that, I'm going to play the Brazilian singer Ricky Valens doing the same song, and we're going to check it out. That's coming up in 30 seconds. Uh, by the way, um, whoa, hey, where'd that come from? Uh, this is Macro Squalo coming to you up close and personal. Uh, let's get right to this and see what's going on. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Did you ever hear an, a rolled R that had that much punch and meaning behind it? Oh, my God. So, apparently, she was born in 1915. I, I think she died young. I think she was probably only about 48 years old. Um, an amazing singer. This particular song, which was written by Charles Dumont and... Uh, what was his name? Uh, well, he was the composer. And then uh, M Michel Vaucroix. He was the uh, lyricist to it, and uh, she, she, they would pitch, try to pitch songs to her. Uh, prior to you know her hearing this song, they were pitching songs to her, and she didn't like them. She didn't like any of the songs, and she was irritated by them. So they somehow sneaked a, a, another meeting with her to try to pitch another song. She's you know she's like, you know very like you know laissez faire. She's like okay whatever, play it. And as soon as she heard it, she 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 was uh, excited about it. She said this is going to be the song of my life, the one that I get famous for. It's going to make me a star and all that other stuff. And she was right. <laughs> Wow. So check it out. So this was an interesting request by a gentleman named Paul Kayer. Paul, thank you so much. This is an interesting request because I've never done two songs back to back. I don't think I have. So uh, I appreciate the, the challenge and, uh, you know, the excitement of it because it should be fun. I mean, um, so, you know, this particular song also, I should mention that um, it was originally had a different title. Uh, it was originally "No, I will not find anything." Uh, to but 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 for another singer. But then uh, when Eddie th uh, took control of it, they decided to call it "No, I regret nothing," and uh, that's a little uh, interesting tidbit about that. So anyway, let's get right to Ricky Valens and see what he's all about. <laughs>
tell you man that was very different um and i can appreciate it for being different and for being uh that they did they did their own thing this guy ricky valen's got a serious voice man it's not easy to sing like that um but he was committed and i believe him i think he's doing a great you know i don't know who the guy is never heard of him before but you know he's playing in a bar i guess and it's you know sometimes when people are talking or if you if they're not paying attention it's it can be a little rough but uh, um, but man the guy is is a hell of a performer I mean listen Paul uh, I don't you know I I gotta tell you man it's hard to you know when I hear an original like um, Eddie Pilaf do that and then that sound is in your head so so I always appreciate when someone comes out with an uh, their own um, their own version of it. Um, and these guys, they did a nice job with it. Um, hey, I still like the Edith Piaf version better. It's just, you know, it's, 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 it's studio recording and, you know, I just like the, uh, I, I like her better, uh, but, you know, uh, I, I definitely would check out more Ricky Valen. If you guys think I should, let me know. Hey, look, it's uh, nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice and you take it easy. And if it's real easy... Take it twice. <laughs> 